This is how many flipbooks you guys sent me last year for Flipbook Fest. And now I'm excited to officially announce Flipbook Fest 2022. In this video, I'm going to give you the contest details, tell you how to submit your flipbooks, and how you can have a chance of being featured in the Flipbook Fest video. And I want to go even bigger this year, so send in your flipbooks and let's make this next Flipbook Fest even bigger than last year. Oh, hey, it's uh, me from the future. What you doing? Just filming the intro for Flipbook Fest. Oh, it looks like you got a good beard going. Oh, yeah, I needed uh, fuel for time traveling. <laughs> what do you mean? <gasps> I almost forgot about this old camera. Oh, that is so old fashioned. What is this, like 4K? <laughs> Why, what, resolution or cameras in the future? Uh, we don't use resolution in the future. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, uh, as your future self, you know how I like to travel back once in a while, pop into your life, and stop you from making really terrible mistakes? Yeah. Well, this flip Sorry, fest. how do you do this? What? T time travel. Like, where's your time machine? I, I thought I showed you. No. Uh, that's an electric shaver. Yeah. <laughs> You're telling me you made a time machine out of a shaver? Yeah, totally. You just add a flux capacitor to it and some other um, science... Uh, you know what? I'll have our brother Robin explain it. He built it. Okay, well, I really need to finish announcing Flipbook Fest. I, 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 I. Hey, what's up? Hey, Robin. Um, I'm just here with my past self trying to explain how the time machine works and... Ooh, him? I don't think he's going to be able to understand it. Uh, well, I'm smart. All right, I'll try. Hey, what's the deal with those sunglasses anyway? Does everybody wear those in the future? Oh, yeah, it's the sunglasses mandate. All right. Here's how the time machine works. It's the same principle as a stage phonic oxygen and a amplifier graphophonic phonodial vibrator. It uses three magnetic fields that are all rotating in opposite directions. Clockwise, counterclockwise, and, and, and both directions. It's a paradox, but that's what rips into the space-time continuum and allows you to move forward and backward in time. It's just like Banana's Law of Time. I'm sure you're familiar with Banana's Law of Time. Of course. No, you're not. There's no such thing as Banana's Law of Time. I know that. I thought you said bandana. Wait, you think there's a Bandana's Law of Time? No, I... Just tell me how it works. I'm trying to film a video for Flipbook Fest. Okay, look. It uses science and math and has a flux capacitor on it. Hey, I, I gotta go. Enjoy the past. Well, and what does it use for energy? Batteries? No. Beard hair. Oh, that's what you meant. Fuel. But you didn't have a beard when you visited me before. Well, stubble usually gives me enough power, but I have a lot of time traveling to do today. Oh. Anyway, where were we? Well, I was trying to announce the next Flipbook Fest. Right, yeah. And you were just saying that you wanted even more Flipbooks this year than last year? Yeah. Do you remember how many packages you got last year? Yeah. And you want more this year? Yeah. 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 All right, that's what I thought. I've got some work to do. I don't even know what that was all about, but let's make Flipbook Fest 2022 even bigger than last year. So get started on your flipbooks now, and then the deadline for me to receive your flipbooks will be February 15th, 2022. Uh, so you've got a little time, but get started now. And then, uh, oh, and this is really important. Um, huh. Uh, surprise, surprise, look who it is. Uh, quick, show me your hand. Just as I thought, I'll be back. Uh, You know, you're not making it very easy to get this video done. It's your thumb, Andy. Something's got to be done about your thumb. That is really not the best look for you. And what's wrong with my thumb in the future? You end up flipping so many flipbooks in Flipbook Fest of all different shapes and sizes that this is what happens to your thumb. And this is what happens to me. Oh, you got to do something about this, Andy. Okay, so what do I do? Can we prevent this from happening? I have an idea. I'll be right back. This video is not going the way that I planned. I predict he's back in five, four, three. Oh, he's early. Okay, so here's how you stop this from happening. Okay, your thumb gets injured because you're flipping all sorts of different shapes and sizes of flip books and all different paper types and staples and rubber bands. Your thumb just can't take it. So you need to have people only use flip book paper or index cards. No sticky note pads, no hand cut paper, no staples. Okay, so just actual flip book paper or index cards, you gotta do something about this, Andy. Okay, and you need to do something about that mustache. Okay, <laughs> so 
the rules for flipbook submissions. In order to be eligible for uh, Flipbook Fest, you need to send your flipbook on uh, index cards or flipbook paper. Uh, so no sticky note pads, no um, hand cut paper. I do love when you guys send me those in the mail, and I've received some super cute ones before. Uh, but for flipbook fest, they're just they're they're too hard to film on camera and have them look good. So just uh, index cards or uh, actual flipbook paper. And apparently, the future of my thumb depends on it. Uh, but index cards are cheap and they're really easy to get. You can find them at any big retail store. Or, uh, a lot of grocery stores in the office supply section. And of course, you know, if you want the best flipbook paper, my paper is available at animation.com. Don't forget to talk about the winners. Oh yeah, winners, uh, there will be some. So what I'm gonna do of all the flipbooks sent in, I'm gonna pick my top 10, top 10 flipbooks based on concept, creativity, and skill. And those 10 flipbooks will be featured in a video. And these are the prizes for each of the top 10 winners. You'll get a selection of my animation products. You'll get a prize from Copic. I'll get to talk to you on Zoom and you'll get $300 cash. We're also going to pick 10 random winners in a drawing. So no matter what your skill level is, you can still have a chance of being one of the 10 random winners. And each of those random winners will get a selection of my animation products, a really nice 12 piece art marker set from Copic. I'll get to talk to you over Zoom uh, and you'll get $150 cash. Anyone in the world can submit a flipbook for Flipbook Fest, but there are some eligibility restrictions on who can receive prizes, so please go check the official rules on my website. I've got a video there which explains the rules in more detail, and that's where you'll get your entry form, which you have to send in with your flipbooks. Okay, so go to animation.com or the link is down in the uh, video description. I am super excited about Flipbook Fest 2022, and I can't wait to see what you guys send in. Uh, so get started, send me your flipbooks, and uh, yeah, let's make it bigger than last year. So we get started now, and you know, hopefully my thumb can handle flipping through all of them. And uh, don't forget to like this video. Nice. <laughs> oh, I just realized I don't have enough fuel to get back again. Oh, <sighs> right. All right, well, I uh, guess I'll be hanging around here for a couple days until I grow some more facial hair. Great. Do you want to play Scrabble? Okay. And now here are a few highlights from last year's flipbook submissions.
Oh, look who has a triple word score. 60 points. That's not how you spell gigawatt. <laughs>